All right, guys, the time has come. I have the 60 volt setup completed on the uh, X class. For those of you who didn't see what we've already done to this, basically it's got brake upgrades. We're running four pot brakes front and rear off of my Suron. Uh, and we've got a 60 volt battery in the factory location. So you can't tell that it's a 60 volt battery, but it is. We also have a 60 volt controller in the factory location. No tricks on this one. This is a direct replacement of the factory controller. It fits on the factory mounts with all the factory connections. It has its own little screen, which mounts right here in the middle. And it has a little controller to turn it on and off. But you can see it's very clean. It's a nice setup. And we'll turn it on so you can see what the graphic looks like. Here you can see digital dash. And we can see we've got our voltage, 67 volts right now, 100%. We are filled up uh, and I set the wheel diameter to 22, just like we do with the factory uh, display. So we'll see how accurate that is. I don't know yet because we have to do some testing, but um, speed wise indication, check this out. So 44 miles an hour, almost 45 according to this at 22 uh, for wheel diameter. So pretty impressive. I think that's gonna be about the most we can expect uh, from the stock motor, because this is a stock motor still. And basically it's a controller battery with the screen, but it's all in the factory location, except for the screen, obviously. The screen's moved over, but it fits really, really nicely. It uses the factory wiring. You don't have to take any wires out or anything like that. This connects to the factory connection here. The controller has all of the factory connections in here. And the only thing you do is you put a new battery on, which is using the factory receptacle as well. So no difference at all. You can see, you still have your indicator. You can still lock it, take it off. No extra bags, no extra wiring, nothing like that. This is a direct factory replacement 60 volt controller uh, from the same manufacturer as the black box controller that comes from the factory. So it's DMHC, those guys are really awesome. They've been working with me on this. And we're gonna continue testing this now to see how it does. This also, I'll, I'll tell you that the current on this is 50 amps rather than the factory, which I think is like 30 amps. So we've got quite a nice increase in acceleration. Um, no, no hesitation, it, it is an, an instant uh, acceleration now where you, before you had that like ramp up where you hit the throttle and it'd be like mm -hmm. now it's just as soon as you hit the throttle it goes off so uh, really nice it, it, it moves nicely so we'll do some more testing but I just wanted to share this with you guys because this is the very first um, running example of the 60 volt factory replacement controller with the screen from DMHC it's really nice <laughs> Here we are with the X-Class out. We're gonna test the 60 volt system now. Uh, this is a true 60 volt controller with everything hooked up. No tricks, nothing crazy. This is a baseline control test. I wanna see what the speed looks like, uh, range and that kind of stuff. Again, we've gotten rid of the bicycle parts. No more of that. This is just an electric, little electric moped if you wanna call it, or electric motorcycle, if you wanna call it that. And um, I'm just enjoying it, having fun with it. We're hoping, I'm hoping to see close to 40 miles per hour uh, with this on the, as the baseline settings. Before we were able to hit 37.5 with the 60 volt battery on the stock controller. But the control was really, really bad. It was just like really like on off, real slow ramping. It was hard to explain, but either way. Let's see how this does. We're gonna take it for a 10 mile ride. We're gonna see how the, I'm gonna use it's only throttle clearly now. So if something happens, I'll be stuck. So let's hope nothing happens. And we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and just rip it wide open. Let's see what it does, 10 miles. Do an acceleration test. So this is from a dead stop, as you can see.
Uh, hopefully you can see the uh, speedo there. It's at zero right now, and here we go. So zero, and I'm just gonna hit the throttle, and go. The acceleration is so nice. We're already 35. 38. four-pot caliper brakes that we put on it, man, it is really, really confidence-inspiring in every direction. I like it. All right, so now we'll continue. We're going to try and not cruise too fast on this. This is a bike trail, so I don't see anybody, and this is not a very populated time of the day. So I'm not too worried about it. But man, let me tell you, the, the acceleration is so much better now with this controller because it, it, before you used to hit the throttle and it would be like hesitate for a, for a second before it would actually go. Those of you who have this bike will know what I'm talking about. But now it's just instant throttle, no waiting. So we have done five miles right there, uh, and it didn't lose, it didn't lose not even a mile per hour in those first five miles. So now we're going to go ahead and let it sit for a minute. I'm going to grab a bite, and then we're going to turn right back around, go in the other, another five miles, see how it does. But so far, so good. I don't feel any extra heat there. This motor is barely hotter than lukewarm. So, I mean, I'm confident that this motor could probably handle more. I'm not too sure about the gearing because this is a geared hub drive. So that part I'm not too sure about as far as power goes. But once you're moving, you're not really putting too much strain on the gearing. It's just acceleration. So like we've mentioned before, we're uh, right. It's a 50 amp controller with, um, with a 60 volt battery. So it's able to put down quite a bit of power for what it is. Way more than stock from the factory it's decent acceleration but with this upgrade it is i'm certain it's twice as fast acceleration it's just really really nice to be able to get out of the way so anyway without further ado we'll get right to the ride back Keep on cranking. I'm just going to stay full throttle. 
throttle the whole way. We'll see what she does. All right. On her way back, ready. 37 miles an hour. And we're holding right at that 37 point, so not too bad. We're almost back, so let's uh just gonna keep it pinned the whole way. We'll see what it looks like. So we made it back and here you can see our voltage is at 61 volts still after 10 miles uh, that translates on this thing to about 78 percent so pretty good i would say that you could go 30 miles easily we'll keep on trying it speed only came off about one one and a half miles an hour so we were still able to go 37 and a half miles an hour uh and that's me sitting up when I crouched down, it was going faster. So we were still thir over 38 miles an hour crouched down on the way back. So I'm really impressed with this so far. Um, you can see the controller temperature is 49C. Uh, so not too bad. It's it's not, not warm at all. I mean, you can't feel any warmth. It's bolted right to the uh, frame. You can't feel anything. So I think the frame kind of helps too with heat dissipation. And again, the motor barely barely warm it's not much warmer than than ambient so so far i'm pretty happy with it this is a really really solid upgrade i'm going to keep on trying it we're going to keep on riding it as hard as possible that was full throttle the whole way i never had any slow riding in that at all it was basically just completely balls to the walls the whole time uh and just a couple of spots where i had to you know slow down and then i stopped for a couple minutes came back so it wasn't actually 10 miles um consistent i did stop for a little bit but it, it i'm, I'm con confident that it's not going to affect it so there you go 60 volt upgrade on the x class really cranking so far i do have some more uh technology that we're going to be putting into it um my plan is to try and implement some uh, flux weakening or field weakening so we're going to be playing with that soon, but I want to make sure we're, we're testing the controller first to make sure that it's consistent at this power level without any hiccups at all, which so far I've got about um, like 60 miles so far, honestly, on it. I've been testing it and hasn't given up anything yet. So we'll keep on going. Uh, I did test the factory controller for about 300 miles and it was fine. So I'm really confident that this controller is not going to be much different because it's the same people it's the same company it's the same basic stuff they're just tweaking the software and making it ours so um impressive again takeaway from this is stock speed on this bike is 32 miles an hour gps and the speed that we're achieving now is almost 39 miles an hour gps so a great upgrade seven miles an hour i'm hoping for more like i said after we implement the uh, the weakening the field weakening maybe we'll bump it up to like 41 42 miles an hour that'd be good but either way that consumes a little more power uh, which i don't think is a problem as long as you have the option of doing it so it should be an option in the controls we'll work on that but more to come stay tuned so far so good i love this bike i know everyone's gonna tell me it's a motorcycle now i know give it up i know but i'm enjoying it and if you have one of these bikes, you should enjoy it too. And if you don't have one of these bikes, what the hell are you waiting for?